For 150 years, the church in the West has been celebrating a simple liturgy called Lessons and Carols. First heard in 1880 in Truro, England, the pattern has expanded across the globe in every denomination and in hundreds of languages. The most famous of this genre is the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols sung at King's College on Christmas Eve. For as long as we have been married, our little family has calculated the time in our time zone that they'll be singing it in the BBC's time zone. And we pause whatever we're doing to listen to the first voices of Christmas. In a culture addicted to innovation and numbed by novelty, this humble old pattern speaks to us at a slower pace, in a gentler voice. We listen and we sing. We listen and we sing. Who could have imagined such a simple act would be so difficult for us who are always in a hurry? Who would have imagined it could be so refreshing? Our Advent lessons and carols today digs even deeper into our church's past than the 19th century. As long ago as the 8th century, a series of O antiphons, O antiphons, was at use at this time of the year. O refers to the beginning of word of each Antiphon. Antiphon is a fancy word for a sung sentence. This morning we will sing five of the seven O antiphons, each one naming a different attribute of God. Wisdom, root of Jesse, day spring, king of the nations, Emmanuel. In a country that is daily rocked by news more troubling than the day before, at a time when opinion masquerades as fact and humility is a dirty word, we return to an ancient form of worship, a sparse word of praise, a simple trust in God, whose power puts to shame all earthly power, and who love, whose love defies our vocabulary to describe it. This morning, we trace the universal longing for salvation, beginning with the prophet Isaiah, concluding with the twinned voices of Mary and Elizabeth, beneficiaries of God's grace in unexpected ways. Sometimes we run out of words to name our pain, to voice our joy, to shape our questions. So this morning we were resort to a single word a word that both begs and exalts at the same time. Oh, humbly inviting God into our worship space, into our lives, and into our world. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and teach us again that God is with us. <laughs> 